<laughs> Baby soup dragon's going to fetch the soup. Hmm, but the iron chicken says she needs to do it. She's in charge after all. Tiny is not sure about this. Oh, she's fallen in the well. Oh dear. The iron chicken's all right. Thank goodness for that. Tiny's going for help. Tiny's telling Small about the iron chicken and the well. They need to rescue her. But how? Small's had an idea. Ah, they're going to use Granny's wool to pull her out. How ingenious. Oh dear, it snapped. Good, the iron chicken's okay. Yes, stronger wool is needed. Baby Soup Dragon is going down to see if there's anything he can do to help. <laughs> Baby Soup Dragon's sorry for giving the Iron Chicken such a surprise. <laughs> How lovely. All the clangers are here, happy and busy. Even Major and Mother don't know what kind of creature it is. But Granny does. Ah, Small thinks the creature might be hungry. Oh well. It was a kind thought. What has Granny got? It's something she made when she was young. How exciting! Granny says it's a space tortoise. She's not seen one since she was a child. Tiny explains how she and Small found and helped it. <laughs> Granny thinks it must have been asleep in the cave for a very long time. Ooh. Oh dear, the space tortoise seems a bit sad. I wonder why. Tiny is worried it's lonely. The tortoises on Granny's tapestry did have friends. Oh look, the space tortoise is heading outside. I wonder why. Ah, too late. Tiny explains that it's a seed and they're going to plant it. The soup dragon wants them to plant it away from the soup wells so she can get back to that nap. Time to plant the seed before it gets stuck to anyone else. Well, I say, 
it seems to have planted itself. It really is a fast grower. Maybe too fast. Yes, another seed, just like the first one. Here we go again. Mother's right. A plant that grows this quickly could spread all over the planet in no time. There'd be no room for anyone else. Now Baby Soup Dragon can blow, shake, crash and bang to his heart's content. He's very pleased. Ah, there's Tiny with her friends again. Oh dear, what a noise. But Baby Soup Dragon thinks he's terribly good. Tiny's finding it difficult to tell Baby Soup Dragon that he's, well, terribly not very good. Ah, but she doesn't have to. He wants to go and show the others. <laughs> That's woken Granny up. Soup Dragon doesn't like that. In fact, she can't bear it. She's off upstairs. How lovely. A felt brooch Mother made. What a lovely little picture. Mother's first gardening trowel. What a special treasure. Tiny and Small want their own memory box, right away. It looks like Major wants to help. Now, what can Tiny and Small find to put in their memory box? Ah, yes. Small's froglet Teddy. And his music boat model. But what about the third special thing? Oh, yes. Small's first ever tankard. But how's Tiny getting on? Tiny can't use her Skymoo toy. She can't sleep without it. No, she needs her radio hat to talk to the Iron Chicken. These look very nice. But Tiny wants that special thing too, like Mother Clanger's first trowel. Oh, how clever! Major's made a marvellous memory box for them. And Small is wasting no time at all. Mother and Granny think that Small's tankard is wonderful. Ooh, ooh, ooh. 